Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community. I'm Trigger, and today we're going to talk about the race Blue Collar. I'm going to show you every line and every shortcut that's the fastest way to take this course. Let's go! A real quick shout out to Waterblob for letting me feature him in this video. He's a professional player racing for the Jaeger Hunters team. If you want to see more insanely fast driving, please go and sub to his YouTube channel. Link is in the description. Okay, so for this video, I'm going to take you through a professional driver's run on Blue Collar and analyze just why he's able to go so fast. This particular run by Waterblob is one of the fastest posted on YouTube, and he's not even using the broken GTI, which if you remember is an S-Class build. All right, let's get started. Started. So at the beginning of the race, obviously, you need to have a perfect start. And if you don't know how to perfect start, I actually did mention how to do this in a previous video. I'll link it in the description as well. All right, going into this first corner, I see very good controlled braking and a nice grip turn. Nothing special, just a simple grip. But here's the first cut right across the grass to the right. And you want to use your burst NOS if you can. Now this turn here is very interesting. Let's reverse, let's rewind and watch this again. Notice how he goes into the grass just a little bit, then wide, then back to the left side. This line is very important. What this line allows him to do is actually farm burst knots that he can use on the ensuing corner. That's what he's doing. He did not go into the dirt there on accident, although maybe some of you thought he did. He actually went into the dirt to extend his line, to make his line wider so he could extend it to where he was rewarded with his grip turn burst nos just before this corner. It's actually a genius move. Bravo to him. All right, let's keep going. All right, so this corner he drifts heavy. I don't know if that was on purpose or not, and I'm pretty sure that little wiggle coming out of it wasn't. Going into this turn, however, he does manage to get a bar before, and then he does a nice micro drift around the corner. If you don't know what micro drifting is, I'm going to explain it in one of my upcoming videos on advanced techniques for driving, but let's go ahead and move on because we're going to be just analyzing the lines and the shortcuts for this track. All right, nothing special here. A couple of nice little S turns, lazy S turns, then a nice drift into that next turn, which gives him a full burst. He's farming burst through this area here across the grass. Now let's go back to that turn just a little bit here, right before this, this turn. You can cut this as he did right after the checkpoint here. Now the grass is fairly flat and you can actually go a little wide into the other grass to keep your main turn. So you don't have to follow the road here because the road kind of snakes around and you lose a lot of time there. So just cut through right after this checkpoint and then just keep your line into the dirt on the right and then again into the dirt on the left. So he uses his burst right after that turn. He's getting as much speed as he can going up to the dirt hill. Now you can cut that corner if you want. I think he cut it because the traffic was there. Make sure you hug the left side of this but also stay on the dirt. Don't go into the grass as much as you can. Nice air there, gives him some burst coming out. And then a nice smooth transition onto the street with a micro drift, absolutely phenomenal. Then you can cut this left side of the grass and a huge cut to the right. That's an e-brake turn to the right using that full burst back onto the road and he, and he really didn't lose very much speed at all. So now another micro drift, full, he should get a full burst coming out of that uh, next turn here, this next right. He doesn't, but he did use it coming out. So right here, what you'll notice is he's got a full three bars of burst and he needs to try to keep that alive because he wants that full three bars of burst, not on this straight where he's already picking up speed, but on the following straight when he comes out of the turn, that's when you want to use it. So. He actually uses a very advantageous cop spawn here because if you have a near miss with a cop, you actually receive some burst NOS as well. So he uses that to keep his burst alive for the following corner. Let's take a look. Very nicely done. A nice grip turn again. He's rewarded with a couple more bursts and he uses it right at the end. It's a phenomenal run. A 202.38 is crazy fast. All right, so let's summarize this real quick. So turn one, grip, then followed by the shortcut across the field to the right. Then make sure you extend your turn by going into the grass just a tiny bit on the following turn and swinging out, then ending on the left side of the road so that you have your burst for the following turn. 
then a drift turn right there to farm even more burst, followed by a nice micro drift turn to the left. Then another drift turn at the end of the road, followed by a cut across the grass after this checkpoint. Get as much speed as possible once you get back onto the road to go up the dirt hill and make sure you hug the left fence. Then save all your burst nos for the hard right hand cut that goes across the grass at the top of that hill. Then it's just farming burst nos throughout the remainder of the switchback turns and you're home free. Now that does take some skill and some time to master but I think with time you definitely can get it. Now that you've seen this video though, you know the fastest lines and the fastest cuts through this track. They're all there. And after analyzing this run, I was able to get a new personal best of my own. Check it out. Alright, if you have any questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram, Twitter, or Discord. I read every single message, and my plan is to actually do more of these videos. I'd like to cover every single track in the game. We'll see if I can do that, but that is at least my plan right now. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it, and shout out to all of the Heat 5 members of the channel. The support has been unreal, and I couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you very much, I will catch you on the next one. Trigger out.